Mila Kunis's character of Jamie in this film kept complaining that her boobs were too small. Girl, you go got some boobies. Hey guys, Mr. Google here to review the latest Friends with Benefits comedy, actually titled Friends with Benefits. Last year we had Love and Other Drugs, which I loved, and this year we had No Strings Attached, which was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was pretty cool! Um, this, on the other hand, I was expecting to be very funny. I got really more of a heart-filled movie, and I'm always up for a heart-filled movie. It stars Justin Timberlake, Mila Kunis, uh, Woody Harrelson, Richard Jenkins, and Jenna Elfman, Emma Stone, Andy Samberg, and has one of the best cameos ever. Oh my god. Have to see that cameo. Funniest part about that movie. I'll get into that in a second. Um, and it's directed by Will Gluck, whose two previous films were Fired Up and Easy And I want to get one thing out of the way first. The thing with Will Gluck's movies that just kind of frustrate me is that the way he, you know, directs his films... He, you know, pokes fun at cliches, and then he doesn't really have an original way to, you know, close the film, and actually does the cliches he made fun of uh, previously in the movie, and did that, like, flat out with Easy A, and I thought that movie was pretty overrated. I, have a, I had a good time with it, it's just, I found it overrated, but uh, that movie was uh, hanging on by a thread, unless, you know, Emma Stone wasn't in this movie. I thought, uh, you know, she was great in Easy A, and that's why you should have saw that movie, but... On technical things, I didn't think that movie was that great. And Fired Up, it was a movie that, you know, it's self-aware. It knew it was stupid, but the thing that was wrong with that movie is that it wasn't funny. The big problem people are having with this film is that uh, Gluck is blatantly making fun of these cliches that happen in every single romantic comedy, and then he just does them. The thing that's different between this and Easy A is that he actually acknowledges it, because... Uh, you know, they th do a thing with uh, Hey Soul Sister playing at the end of uh, Romantic Comedy, uh, Dust Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis were doing, and uh, at the end, of course, they have to put uh, Hey Soul Sister because they acknowledge the fact that, it, it, you know, it's, it, if you kind of know what I mean, you'll, you'll get it, but I had a great time with Friends with Benefits. I really liked it. I thought it was a very fun time. This movie isn't hilarious, but it is very fun and at times funny. I thought Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis gave surprisingly some of the best chemistry I've seen all year up there with Emily Blunt and Matt Damon and the, and the Adjustment Bureau and, you know, probably the best romantic co comedy uh, chemistry I've seen so far this year. And they were, they were just superb together. Justin Timberlake gives a very good performance. Um, you're very funny in this film, by the way. And, you know, the dialogue, they just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth is great. And Mila Kunis, I think, is one of the hottest, most beautiful, gorgeous women in Hollywood. And I just love that she's, you know, you know, getting bigger parts in movies. And I, I just love Mila Kunis. And she's great in this movie. I also loved Richard Jenkins' supporting performance. I mean, this is the second time he's playing an all a guy with Alzheimer's. I mean, last year in uh, Dear John, and now this year with uh, Friends with Benefits. And he's like gives the movie a nice heart, then you know, much needed heart. And it wasn't really expected, but I loved his performance in this movie. Um, Woody Harrelson, on the other hand, I love Woody Harrelson. I thought he was really good in the movie. It's just his character. I I, I thought his character should have been written in way more. Because he could he could have had like some sentimental scenes with uh, Justin Timberlake being a friend. Like the first ever since the first scene he came in, it was like he said he was gay, and it was it was like okay, thanks for telling us that. We didn't notice that you were wearing a polo, zing. And then he keeps saying he's gay every single scene he's in, and it kind of gets annoying. But a couple scenes later, you kind of get used to him, and he's actually really funny. Um, and Patricia Clarkson, kind of the same thing uh, that Woody Harrelson did, but instead of her being gay, she's a sex-crazed mother of Mila Kunis, and it's kind of weird. The main thing I had wrong with this movie is that the beginning was just so, so rushed, and it, and, it, and it started out like the social network, like it was this like, cut, 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 and like the first half of this movie literally had, had me having a headache. I needed an Advil, because I, I just couldn't breathe. It's not that this movie was just side-splittingly hilarious. They couldn't, you know, leave you time to laugh, but it did, it was just like, mm, 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 mm. Not, not sex noises, but 
Well, kind of, but you know what I mean. Like they, they kept cutting to other people's face, and it was, it was just really, really annoying. I mean, just take one long shot of a conversation. Just don't, you know, cut every two seconds like your David freaking Fitcher. Didn't go with this. <laughs> but uh, and that's like the only other problem I had was the direction. I mean, uh, Will Gluck sometimes he kind of takes it takes the movie a little too seriously. But on the other hand, I found this movie to be very funny. It had one of the best cameos I've seen this year. Um, his name starts with an on and ends with an I. His name is Sean White. Loved the cameo. Fucking awesome. I'm going to give this movie an 8.5 out of 10. It's not better in romantic comedies like Going the Distance or Love and Other Drugs or She's Out of My League, but it's better than uh, Friends with the No Strings Attached, my fault. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to give it a... Uh, Friends with Benefits an 8.5 out of 10. It's in my top 20 of the year. I'm Mr. Google, and I'm out. Girl, you go got some boobies.